Hi guys, it's Darren here from deepblueapps.com and I'm just going to quickly show you how you can actually go and leave a scene and return to the previous scene and be in the same position as you left. Now this is useful, say you've got an RPG type game, uh, an adventure type game and you go down a hole and let's say the hole in scene one is here. Now this is just on a single 480 by 320 scene but it will also work with uh, larger scenes. Now say the hole's in this top right corner. I'm going to go down the hole and I've just got this little button here just to uh, speed things up a little bit just to quickly go to the next scene. And we'll go in the hole. This is a cave. We'll go around the cave and then we want to come back out the cave and end up at the hole we first went into. And there you go. It's actually saving your position when you leave the scene. It also works for scene two as well. So if I put that in the top right corner, in scene two, we will go to scene one, then go to scene two, it'll be in the top right corner. So now I'm going to show you how we can achieve this. You'll need some attributes. I've got a scene one, X and Y, um, some real attributes there, a scene two, X and Y. Now I've already preset the, uh, the X and Y positions, because if you don't, when you go to the new scene, it'll actually put you at zero, zero. So that's just something you'll need to do. And then I've just simply got a scene ID, and that's an integer. And then going into the actors, I've got some simple left, right, up and down movement commands there. Uh, you just want to ignore those there. You can put your own movement commands in. And then just simply a scene one and scene two rule. And if scene ID equals one, then we're going to change position X to game scene one X and one Y. And the same for scene two with the game scene 2x. Now the magic in this comes from these little buttons here. I've actually unlocked these. Got a simple display text. You can actually set this up to a boolean though. You could do if down hole is true then you know change the uh, the attributes here. But I've just done a simple actor. Touch is pressed then change game scene 1 to scene background hero position x. And the way you do this is just go into your current scene, just move this along a bit so you can see it, go into layers, background, find your hero, and the position X of your hero, and the same for there. And then we're changing the scene ID to 2, and that will just make sure the hero is uh, switching to the right X and Y. And then we just go to the next scene, and in scene 2, to go back, we simply do the same, we just save the position of the hero when you press the back button. So if touch is pressed, game scene two to scene hero position X and hero position Y. And then we change the scene ID to one because we're going back to the first scene. And then like I've said, when scene ID is one, then you do a change cell position X to game scene one X and one Y, etc. And if we're in scene two, it will switch to scene two. So that's just a simple demonstration. Um, on how you actually leave a scene and have your actor reappear in the same position when you re-enter the scene. So that's Darren from deepblueapps.com and I'll speak to you soon guys.